Hello everybody, and welcome back to Alan Wake, where we're just gonna get right back into it. Okay. I know that was really fast, but we're back into it now. And I'm gonna go over here and not take that hunting rifle, but switch to that and take that. Uh huh, there's a manuscript page and I didn't even see it. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns, and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. Okay, well, at least we know Barry's okay. See, the thing is, would the writing end up killing Barry or not? And once the story ends, what's going to happen? That's the real question. Um, you can read that if you want to. You have a key for this too, I bet? I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. Um, I'll stay up here with you. It's open. Let's go, Wake. Uh, how did I know there's going to be a manuscript page somewhere in here? For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Oh boy. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before deer fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. Well, that helps us. Let's go. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Out of my... <clears throat> Ready? Let's go. Well, this is a hundred percent going to be a battleground.
I'm not going up yet. I must have missed something. I don't know what that coffee thermos does, but it's there for some reason. Barry? Guess that one saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. Hey, Barry. What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. <laughs> See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. <laughs> okay, manuscript page. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Well, Barry should be able to help us now. Hopefully. Someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license or cleared for departure to Night Springs. Uh, no offense, Sheriff. I got him. Let's go. Oh, that's nice. Got him. And he's down for the count. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. That would have been a good place for a page right behind that thing there. That would have been a great place for a page. I should not shoot any more of these because this looks like it's a battleground. A battleground that we have yet to touch.
lights flash out. <clears throat> yep. You will never get her back. We're not ready to stop yet. Get ready, I'll hold them off. Okay, well, how about when you get out of the frickin' choppa and help me? Don't start me at the beginning of that. I do not want to go through all that again. There should have been a checkpoint in there somewhere. Ugh. Well,
Oh, that's not what I wanted to waste that on. Okay, I'm coming. Oh boy. Don't throw me into this fight. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, you guys, good luck with that. Okay.
I guess all I can do is go over here and be like, huh? something about the chain for the door to open what Go, 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 go! Wonder why I lose my shotgun when it loads a checkpoint. Really weird. And here's a new song from a band that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. Okay, that was kind of useless. <laughs> So much ammo on that one guy. <clears throat> I don't want to be in here. You know what? If there is no, if there's a thing in there, I'll get it on a later time. I'm not staying in there because of copyrighted music. Thank you. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Oh, uh, all they would have to do is destroy this area here that we're in currently that we're going to be going through. Uh, and it would shut off the entire power to the power plant. Fun fact.
I'm not dealing with him right now. Page. I will deal with that page, though. Your manuscript page. I, I like that page. Well, unless that's an extra one, we're missing... Uh, Making her way through the water pipe one. alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, Ellen Wake's wanted to rest for a while now. It hasn't been able to. Literally has been... <laughs> so she can suck it up. Okay, perfect though. <clears throat> Grab the coffee thermos. Wonder if the coffee thermoses are just like saves in a way. Like manual saving kind of thing. Who knows? Oh, jeez. Up, 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 and away. Manuscript. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story. But the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Um, I wrote this. I knew there was going to be a page left. Hmm. Well, we're going to go for a little bit longer. Because there should be another checkpoint soon. So we must be like moving a bridge or something because it looks like this bridge can be moved. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Thanks, just don't kill me. Dang, that's uh that's definitely support for sure. Hey, where is my frickin' support? It's not really support if you go ahead of me. <clears throat> is it now? You know what, I, I think I'll leave it there. I think I'm gonna record one more tonight. Yeah, I think I will. I just said that a couple of times. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.